Hello, my rusty friends. Long time no talk. As you may have noticed, I've been absent from the scene for some time. And that's because, you know, real life, it happens, you know. So, as a lot of you have likely seen, Dutch Laws, the bunker, has kind of taken the scene by storm, almost posthumously. So renamed by Sven and recyclers like Game Lights to the so-called Offset Bunker, uh, the Dutch Laws Bunker has seen a lot of activity. But in terms of new concepts, uh, very few. Uh, so with that in mind, I thought as I kind of go on in even longer hiatus, I won't be back to making content probably for at least another couple months. I thought I would show you something that I have posted in a couple of different circles as kind of a particularly cheeky example of a very minimal uh, yurt that achieves 23 rockets. This particular example is meant a little bit almost as a parody of the strength of bunkers. People who run the Dutch Laws bunker find it to be very satisfying to force people to run into a floor where they don't expect it when they're raiding. Well, you know, I've got something a little else for you that I think is pretty amusing, and this is a thing that only yurts can really do. So let's go ahead and pretend to raid this... Uh, can I, can I chat? Oh, I totally forgot. I can't do that with the HUD turned off. How do I turn the HUD back on? I totally, I totally fucking forgot. How do I even do this? Life is so hard. Oh my god, what do I do? HUD. Demo HUD. Graphics HUD. One. Oh, that seems good. There we go. We have it, we have it back on. We can, we can actually fire now. So I'm coming from, uh, to you from the Rust Guild of Builders server. Uh, which is kind of a, a little treat for me, so I don't have to host my own server, which is very nice, and it's not nearly as bloated as Builder's uh, Sanctuary is. So we see we've uh, blown the door off. We're now at a rocket and some change, and we're greeted with... Well, that's kind of odd. Are these all doors? Oh, well, that's kind of uncomfortable. Well, you know, I'm kind of lazy, so let's go ahead and soft-side every soft side a little for, uh, surface. Okay, so now we're looking at well, this is fucking weird. Yeah, nobody nobody likes to see that. You know, it looks like kind of our splash damaged uh, some of these roofs. You know, roofs are pretty prone to splash. And we can see that there's some frames here, but, uh, you know, when there was a sheet door, I was never going to start with the, the metal, right? I mean, I always go for the one rocket door. Well, you know, now uh, we could say maybe this is six, seven rockets. Well, you know, this wall, I mean, that's just stone, right? So we can we can just blast that with a few in it. That's, that's full health, unfortunately. Maybe with a better angle, we could have splashed it. But uh, we'll go ahead and just throw the four rockets at it. Well, that's kind of fucking awkward. Why, why is there a floor here? Okay, that's gross. Well, now, I mean, this is almost the same, right? I mean, this is four, this is about four three and a half four you know so th this is almost a, a mixture you know i mean i'm i'm pretty irritated now so of course we're gonna uh clear the thing out we'll hit it with three just so we can get a, a good number right so it looks like that we could probably uh perhaps shave a rocket off if we use some explode but we won't bother we'll just blow it okay so now we're inside um we didn't really get i mean we got it we got a lot right for a yurt uh, this is kind of typical, right? You enter the skirt and you have access to a lot. I think if I had filled this out, this would be quite a bit, right? I mean, you'd be, uh, for eight rockets, you'd be getting a pretty substantial amount of boxes, right? I think that any self-respecting uh, yurt denizen uh, would uh, not really have anything significant here, but, uh, you know, they always have the 15 rocket core. So the thing that I'm aiming to showcase here is what the fuck was going on with this uh, floor roof combo. So we'll go ahead and reload the base. And uh, thanks again to Russ Guild of Builders uh, for their uh, creative server for uh, making this so seamless. So as you can see if we, from when we spawn in here, we have a traditional basic stability bunker. This is 15 rockets, barring these soft sides. Then, up above, we see something kind of interesting. When we unsealed this, we lost that seal there. And this is actually kind of intended. So, if we were to replace this, 
And this is kind of a weird kind of mechanism here. When we replace this, we can replace this floor. Okay. Good to know. This is kind of a reminder. This is a way to tell you that if your lower bunker is unsealed, you know, this is a kind of a very obvious giveaway. Hey, seal your 15 rocket bump bunker, right? So this is kind of a reminder to do that. And we'll go ahead and do so. Now, up here, this is actually a wall floor combo. So we can't place this wall or this floor in the absence of this twig half wall. So of course we don't want to do that right away and that's kind of what that uh, uh, ladder was there for. We'll go ahead and uh, slap the ladder on. So the idea here is that when you're leaving, you just go ahead and seal this shit up and make sure it's hard side facing you. What a joke, right? So one rocket, five rockets, eight rockets, as opposed to seven and a half to come in through the sheet. Not bad. And just think about how demoralized that raider is. Anyway... Did it? Oh man, I hard sided my twig. Shame on me. Anyway, I hope you're having a rusty day.